Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to make cookie cutters in five steps. We're going to learn some new techniques. Uh, we're going to import an image. We're going to trace our image. We're going to extrude our walls. We're going to extrude our flange. And then we're going to chamfer the cutting edge and make this unicorn cookie cutter because unicorns are dangerous and evil. All right, so what do we do next? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our on shape and we're going to open up our cookie cutter uh, part studio. Uh, and when we do that, our cookie cutter document, you'll have to be in a new part studio. And you're going to hit the sketch button and create a new sketch on the front or top plane, as we always do. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, as our instructions tell us, we're going to import our image to import our image we will need to have a sketch we will need to go to our tool ribbon and we will find our insert image button if you can't find your insert image button uh, try a different drop down menu and if it's under none of the drop down menus check to make sure you are in your sketch if this box is not open if you don't see this sketch box then the, you will not find the insert image button because it only exists when you're in the sketch. So under yeah, insert image, you choose insert image, a pop-up menu will appear. At the bottom of the pop-up menu down here, you'll see the word import. But wait, there's no pop-up menu right now. So where to go? Well, I'm going to hit the control and the minus button. So on your CTRL control, and the minus button and that will make that'll zoom out and you'll see my import button pops up here so there's my import button and you go to your uh, camera roll or wherever you saved your work look at that handsome guy smile everywhere All right, anyway uh, and now you have added your image to your image menu uh, if I close this and open it back up, you'll see it's it's now there. This is the image I want. I click on it, and it says draw image rectangle. So let's take a look at that. So let's end. Yeah, I'm gonna. I always like to start at the origin. So I click the origin, move the mouse, and click. And now I have my image here. Now, my next step is to figure out how big to make this thing. All right, if I look back at my instructions, uh, import your image. Oh, there we go. What's in there? Trace, let's draw your image. Or find a suitable image. Save your image. Did that. Created a sketch. Did that. Use the dimension tool to make your image the correct size. Okay, you have your image in here, but you don't know how big it is until we add some dimensions. So right now, is that big? I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. Well, that's because I'm zoomed in real close. Is that, is that big? Looks tiny. Well, it looks big again. So let's add a dimension to this and realize that is 0.1 inches. 0.1 inches is half of the thickness of a pencil. That's not very big. So the distance from here to here, which is the distance we actually care about, is less than 0.1 inches. Let's, we want to create things that are between two and four inches. So let's hit that four, enter key. It, whoa, that looks really big. I'm gonna tap the letter F on my keyboard. And there's the image side. There's the, there's, there's what is it? The escape key, so I get my mouse back, grab the number, drag it off to the side a little bit so it's not directly on top of my image. And there you have it. There is a unicorn that is over two inches tall. Uh, if I take a line tool, I can figure that's hard to read. But if I look closely, that's around three inches. Draw another line. That's about two inches. So about three inches by two inches actual size. And we're good. So let's name that image. I'm going to hit the green check, and now it's time to create a new sketch on that same plane. This is grayed out, uh, which is good because I don't want to mess with it. I want to create a new sketch that isn't on there. So I'm going to create a new sheet of paper. So sketch, 
or I put it on that front plane again. And now we're going to grab tools from the top there. And for this shape, because it's all squiggly and wiggly and nothing real consistent, I'm going to use the, what's called the spline tool. And the spline tool um, allows us to connect a series of point uh, line segments. Well, they're not really lines, they're arcs, 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 curves, curves. Really curves, yeah, curves, we'll call them curves, through these points. Um, and it's just a squiggly wiggly line. And I can add or remove these spline points as I want. Uh, now that I have traced that, we can turn off that. We can rename our sketch outline and click in space to create. I can move these points around to get different shapes. So drag it, whatever makes you feel, feel good. When you're happy, just quit. Uh, if you want to remove a point, just click on it one time, hit the delete button. Um, if you want to add a new point up on where you got the spline tool, there's spline control point. I can add another point in there and escape and drag it around. So it's up to you how many control points you add. Uh, I per personally like fewer, the fewest I can get away with. Uh, but I've been playing with it for a long time, so you'll just need to play and get the hang of it. So uh, there you have it. I'm going to hit that and save. And there's my outline that I'm happy with. I'm going to extrude. Now, in the past, we've extruded. We're going to extrude our walls, so we'll give it a name. In the past, we've used the solid tool. Now we're going to use the thin tool. I'm going to click on that line. And the default is a quarter inch and one inch depth. That is not a very good cookie cutter, so we're going to make this 0 0.06. And that point four, and now we have a much better cookie cutter. And that's my first extrusion. And then the next extrusion, we're gonna hit the extrude button, and we're gonna call this one the flange. We're gonna use the thin tool again, and this time I can't grab that outline, so I'm just gonna go over here and grab the outline sketch from there. And that still looks goofy because it's got the default sizes, so we're gonna go to point. Two, two tenths of an inch, still looking goofy because it's still really thick. So we'll drop that back to 0 0.04, which gives us a nice thin flange. And that looks like a cookie cutter. So green check, and I have a cookie cutter. And I can quit at this, point, quit at this point if I want to, but wait, there's more. Um, actually, I want to cut, create a cutting edge, and this might work, might not work. This is an optional step, and I am going to emphasize optional. You want to give it a try, give it a try. Click the outside of this edge, set the distance to 0 0.05 inches. And if that worked, then you just created a little cutting edge, a little knife edge for your, for your cookie cutter. If it didn't work, eh, delete it. And there it is. I have a unicorn cookie cutter. Now it's time that I can go ahead and print this out. And before you know it, I'll be making the evil monstrosities that are unicorns. No more unicorns. And if I can put up unicorn cookies, I can bend those monsters out from my house and keep them away. You know, like garlic keeping away the vampires. All right. Good luck. Have fun as always. Keep being awesome.